experience. We're a group of Northern artists and educators visiting communities across the Northwest Territories to have real conversations about health and wellness through media and art. It started in high school. So my friend and I, we started making up designs and printing them on t-shirts we bought at the local grocery store and then sold them all. And I forgot about that until a couple years ago. A design that represented you know, Dene culture, Dene heritage, in just like a really simple way that would appeal to youth and appeal to others. The design is just a simple moose hide being stretched on a frame. Everybody in the North knows what it is. It really, it represents the movement of youth in the territory that have really come up and claimed this practice as their own again. It wasn't about making a profit, it was about being able to see people wearing my design and I was really excited about that. Let's go. I do a lot of like mixed media stuff video work, analog feedback, paintings, and also like started doing some 3D printing, 3D modeling these, these days. What inspires me to do this variety of stuff is it's mainly just of like trying to figure it out for myself, trying to like empower myself with the knowledge of these different techniques and approaches. If I wanted to do something then I'm, I'm able to creatively find a way to do it. Just to like, to find out why, which is I think, the pursuit of why we do things. What's really inspiring for me is to be able to wear jewelry that um, makes me proud of who I am and where I come from. I love seeing people wearing my work and because it's, it's sharing a piece of my culture with them. My ideas come from um, really different areas. Some pieces have been made because of the beadwork that was passed down from my family, some other pieces, were inspired by uh, the work in museum collections. And then others come from nature and, uh, you know, from, from our culture. We have such a rich culture and land that there's um, never a lack of inspiration out there. Word. It's like a compulsion. Um, I've always been a singer, like I would sing in choir at school at church, um, and it's something as natural um, as breathing. I just feel compelled to do it. I was quite different um, growing up. My mother's Inuk and my dad's white. My grandparents didn't accept me, so those two things um, contributed to me being alienated. I guess I throat sing in a way where I hope I make my own people proud, um, mainly because I was so alienated as a child. I feel like I need to prove myself to my people. So that's partly what inspires me. We think art is a gateway to bigger things, connection, conversations, confidence, and overall well-being. It's also fun. I produce films, I direct and shoot. Um, we make music videos and PSAs, everything from short docs to feature films. I'm really inspired by the locations of the North. That's something that any filmmaker who comes here is going to talk about. Location as a character. We don't often see places like where we live on the big screen. I've traveled all over the world, but I've always come home to the North. This is where I was born. Uh, when I think and when I write and when I speak. It's from a deeply northern point of view. I can't erase that from myself. It's important for me that we show authentic um, representations of the North so that we're not just considered a afterthought to the rest of the world. I think what I'm trying to do with my artistic work is show a younger version of myself that there are other possibilities. Let's do this. I've been illustrating since I was a kid. Um, it just started off with, you know, sitting in front of the TV, drawing, and, you know, next thing you know, you're coming up with, like, characters and uh, sort of just uh, continued from there with support from, you know, people around me to go to school, and, and here I am. 
persistence with creativity is the key. Like, yeah, you know, you may not come up with the idea right away, but if you just keep on thinking about it, uh, you know, maybe a week or two later, then you'll be doing something completely uncreative, and then all of a sudden the idea will, will you know, it's all about problem solving, I suppose. Here's an old uh, gig poster from my Vancouver days. Some old magazine covers here. This is a cover to a uh, Michael Jackson documentary that Spike Lee did that I did. I just can't stop. Talk to us, sign up for a workshop, jump in, ask questions, be in the show, see the show. There will be popcorn.